the largest positive integer which cannot be written in the form 5m plus 3n where m and n are positive integers. All of this cannot be written questions I don't like. I like questions which are can be written. What is possible? I don't want to think about what cannot be written. And so what cannot be done? I don't want to think about. I want to think about what can be done. And so forget about this question. I don't want to find the largest number that cannot be written. I want to find that some number that can be written as 5m plus 3n. m and n are positive integers. Positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The best possible case put m equal to 1 n equal to 1, write down that number, m equal to 1, n equal to 1, that is we are adding 5 into 1 plus 3 into 1, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 can be written, beautiful, so 8 is a possible number, obviously 8 is not among the choices, they are asking as far cannot be written, we are finding what can be written, 8 can be written, so we have got 8 in place, now I am going to think about can some other number be written, you put m is 1, n is 1, you can put m is 1, n is 2, and so that is 5 into 1 plus 3 into 2, 5 plus 6, 11, or what are we doing? To this, we are adding a 3, 5m plus 3n, 1, 5 and 1, 3, you could have 1, 5 and 2, 3s, 1, 5 and 3, 3s, 1, 5, and 4 3s. What could we also have? We could have 2 5s and 1 3, 3 5s and 1 3, 3 5s and 2 3s, 5 5s and 4 3s, 6 5s and 11 3s. All of those are possible. And we have not only found one number that is possible, we have found two numbers that are possible. We can now find 3 numbers, 4 numbers, 5 numbers, 10 numbers, 15 numbers. I am going to do that. I know what is what can be written. So I am going to go ahead and write down a bunch of numbers. What is possible? 8 is possible. 11 is possible. 9 is it possible? 9 is not possible. 9 doesn't look like 9 is possible. 5 plus 3 is 8. One more 3 we can add, but we cannot add one more 4. We have to have at least one 5, at least one 3. Minimum possible sum is 8. After this, I can add one more 3. So 9 and 10 are not possible. 11 is possible. Straight away, I know that 14 is possible. 17 is possible. 20 is possible. 23 is possible, 26 is possible, etc, etc, etc. All of these are possible by putting 1, 5 and then more 3s. Right? I have 8 is possible, same approach, I can put more 5s. 13 is possible, 18 is possible, 23 is possible, 28 is possible. We can put 2, 3s and 2, 5s. So, 16 will be possible. 3, 3s and 3, 5s. 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 5, 15. 24 is possible. If 8 is possible, any multiple of 8 is possible, 8, 16, 24, all of those are possible. If 11 is possible, any multiple of 11 is possible. So, several numbers are possible. Right? Now, sitting inside all of this, we still have to find a pattern. We still not have got the answer. Right? So, we are still struggling to find some pattern here. Think about this, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, everything is possible. Now, I am going to put some algebra in. Now, if some n is possible, then n plus 3 is possible. Some number n or n we are already using, so let me not confuse you. If some p is possible, p plus 3 is possible. If I can generate 30, I can generate 33. If I can generate 104, I can generate 107. How so? I will just add one more 3. If some p is possible, p plus 5 is possible. Why? Add one more 5. If some p is possible, p plus 8 is possible. Add one 3, add one 5. Of all this, I like this 3. Why? Because it tells me that this is a very important point. If we can find a system where there are 3 consecutive integers possible, some 3 consecutive integers possible, then after that everything is possible. How so? Think about it. If I have, I am not doing the number, suppose 51, 52, 53 are possible. I'm not saying they are possible. Suppose 51, 52, 53 are possible. 51 plus 3 is 54. 52 plus 3 is 55. 53 plus 3 is 56. These three are possible. <coughs> 54 plus 3 is 57. 55 plus 3 is 58. 56 plus 3 is 59. 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Everything is possible. 
So, whenever you are cracking this, the first idea to remember, if any one number is possible, that number plus 3 is possible. Second thing to think about, the moment you have 3 consecutive integers, you are through. Everything else after that is possible. And now, let us look at the sequence we did have. And what are the numbers we have written down? 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, etc, etc. Then 16, 24, we are looking for 3 consecutive numbers. 11 and 13 are there. If 12 works, we are through. If you have 12 also, then we are through. Is 12 possible? If you put 1, 5 there, remaining is 7. If you put 2, 5 there, remaining is 2. 12 is not possible. So, 11, 12, 13, not working out. 9 and 10 are not possible. 12 is not possible. 11, 12, 13, all 3 do not work out for us. So, think about 13, 14, 15. So, 13, 14, 15 works. Everything else works after that. 13, 14, 15, 13 and 14 are there. If we can create 15, they are through. 15, you must have 1, 5. That is 5 plus 10. That does not work. 2, 5, 10 plus 5. Does not work. 15 plus 0. That does not work. 15 is also not possible. So, 13, 14, 15, 14, 15, 16, 15, 16, 17. Those kind of triplets are ruled out. 15 is also not possible. Let us look at 16. 16 is possible. 17. 17 is possible. 8. Oh, done. 16, 17, 18, we have a sequence. So, after 16, any number is possible. We know how to generate 16. We know how to generate 17. We know how to generate 18. 16, 17, 18, all three are possible. That means 16 plus 3, 17 plus 3, 18 plus 3 is possible. Then that plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is possible. From 16 onwards, any number we can generate. Because we have a number, we can num generate that number plus 3. 16, 17, 18 in a sequence we have. Keep on generating plus 3 plus 3, we will have 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 till eternity. Or the moment we get 3 in a row, we are through. 16, 17, after 16, any number is possible. What is the maximum number that is not possible? That is 15. That is there in this choice, choice D. 15 is not possible. After 15, any number can be generated. In all of these questions, where you are worried about which of the following cannot be written, then think about what can be written. If you can figure out what can be written, what cannot be written becomes simpler. List down a bunch of things that can be written. See if many things can be written. See if several things can be written. See if there is a pattern in the things that can, we can be written. See if you can confidently say everything can be written. Then think about, hey, maybe something cannot be written. Maybe something does not work. Maybe something still is not possible. And then go about chasing that. Don't think about oh, what cannot be done. Think about what can be done. I can write 8. I can write 11, 14, 17. Oh, there is a pattern here. 8, 13, 18. There is a pattern here. 16, 24, there is some pattern here. Now, if I have a number, what can I be sure of? I can be sure of that number plus 3. I can be sure of that number plus 5. So, somewhere, if I have 3 in a row, I am done. Then go about finding where you can find 3 in a row. Hush.